Hi, I'm Ron Wills, and this is the Big Idea Podcast. Today on our show, we have Daya Neff, the success partner, as our visitor. Daya, good, uh, good morning. Good morning, Ron. Nice to see you. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do and, and your, your company and, and uh, which, what are your goals for your company? That's great, Ron. Yes. Uh, so the Success Partner was founded uh, as a professional coaching firm uh, about three years ago, and we specialize in working with lawyers and law firms and also entrepreneurs. Uh, so I guess the goal for this year is to continue to build momentum with our practice and uh, expand. Uh, we will be taking on some new coaches into our firm uh, pretty soon, and we are specializing in, in this kind of growth area, like small law firms right now are really growing and taking off and really can use some guidance and some leadership uh, in their, their new growth plans. So what are you finding is right now your, your toughest challenge in your business? Oh, my toughest challenge. So would be finding the people that are actually like ready to get started. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people are digesting the material that we're putting out. Uh, a lot of our clients that we're, we're already working with our individual clients are, are doing really well. And we're you know, expanding into serving the, the firm market uh, as well as the individual market. So that's a little bit, a little bit different because um, often you'll have one person who has worked with us or met us and want to bring us in. And of course, there are other people that are involved in that decision making. Right, right. So it's quite a, it's quite a multi-tier process. Uh, and then of course, we'll have to find out what it is they need exactly uh, when oftentimes they don't know themselves. So it's just kind of steps in the process. I, I I teased you one time by saying of all groups to go after as attorneys, because Dea, we all know attorneys know everything, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and I I think it's terrific that you're doing it for that community. I I I think you're you're going to be just an amazing support for the 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 the, the attorneys. Uh, now, are you? Virtual? Can you do this anywhere, or, or are you geographically um, focused? Um, absolutely virtual. Uh, actually, the, the our model has always been done virtually, either by the phone or on Zoom. Uh, we even used Skype before we used Zoom back in the day, and um, so definitely virtual is not a, not a problem. We just adjust for time zones and try to be as convenient and as accommodating as possible. What are some of the, the issues that you're seeing in these different law firms that you're working with? That's a great question. Uh, small firms really focus a lot on culture of the firm. So not only do they need to keep up with the client work and client development, they also want to kind of keep that, that small firm feel. They want their staff and their employees uh, and their associates that will later become partners to feel like they're part of the family and keep the legacy of that firm alive. So that's where you have to kind of draw a, a balance. Um, you can't just do metrics. So a lot of larger firms, they just do metrics and people may meet these goals or meet or don't meet these goals. It's, there's more of a, a feel, more of a, an atmosphere or an environment uh, in these smaller firms that they really worked hard to, to have, to develop, and they want to keep that. How hard is it for, for potential clients to understand the coaching aspect of what you're doing? Oh, wow. Okay. So like pretty much any consulting or coaching uh, uh, professional, um, even, even lawyering, uh, to some extent, you really have to educate the client or the potential client on the, the value of their services. Um, you know, right now people are using legal Zoom and doing do-it-yourself or lawyer activities, uh, and that's, that's similar to any industry, including mine. So coaching provides a service. It's, it's not something that you could not do yourself, but it is something that you with coaching are able to do faster. You're able to work out the pitfalls um, and, and shorten the time span. So we yeah. really work on yeah. really focus and hone um, 
hone up on those, uh, hone, hone in on the goals and the the plans and the projects that you want to excel in. You know, it's it's funny when we when you think about coaching, it is it has become really a part of business, but still there are large groups that don't understand the value of coaching. But you know, when when people would when I would talk about coaching with people, I, I'd say, you know, um, Tiger Woods has a coach. Jim Bezos has a coach. Uh, some of the top entrepreneurs in the world have coaches. Mm -hmm. And what coaches do, as you know, because, you know, you're helping people be better at what they do. You don't do it for them. You just help them be better and to perform better on, on their job. But I can understand it being, you know, somebody's not familiar with it. They, they may think, well, I can do it on my own. And you know, and I know, they're not going to do it on their own. It's just having someone like yourself to, to talk to. Do you, when you set up your, your consultation or your coaching, do you do it on a regular basis? Uh, do you do it every month, every week? How does that work? Uh, yes, it's it's very individualized as to what the individual or the firm's goals are. So sometimes it can be a short, intensive engagement. Uh, you know, putting together like a two-day retreat, or doing my usually my small firm work is over about three months, going through meeting with them, meeting with the the leader, the leader leaders more, and then the associates who will be leaders. Uh, a little bit less, but make sure that all the voices are heard and all the the improvements that can be made in that time are made. Um, some individuals who are starting their own companies, we work together for um, at least a year. You know, if yeah. you're coming yeah. out of big law, it's a whole different world to be part of us to excel as part of a system that's already defined to starting your own thing and developing your own systems that work for you. So those would be, those would be more frequent meetings, more intensive um, as well, because there's a, a runway, there's a short runway. Um, same thing with people like laterals who want to choose a new firm to work for. Um, if they call immediately a recruiter or a headhunter, um, they'll, they'll place them. They'll place them somewhere that checks the boxes. Um, Great service, love working with recruiters and headhunters. However, sometimes the candidate or the lateral, the person who wants to move, they're really not ready to move. They think they're ready to move because of some circumstance or situation, um, but we can work together for a month or two and actually make sure that the move is a, is a right fit for them. So you would actually then do even some personal counseling coaching on people who are ready to make moves to other jobs? Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay. I did not, did not know that. Uh, so what, what defines your ideal client? What, what is, you know, is it, is it the firm? Is it the individual? Or do you have a couple of different ideal clients? I'd say I have a couple. Um, I think most people start uh, with an ideal client similar to themselves so I had a career in law for 15 years, 16 years, and that's um, kind of statistical breaking point of reinvent, either reinventing yourself in your career or starting maybe another career, which is what I've done. And so women lawyers uh, at like 15 years of practice would be an ideal client. Okay. Uh, they're really either reigniting the passion for what they're doing. They're starting their own firm. There's, there's a, something very pivotal there. Um, also, people that are going up for partnership. So people mm -hmm. in their five to seven years of practice uh, need some guidance on getting, getting going in that partnership track and defining what their partnership will look like. So those would be ideal clients. I would imagine somebody that is getting on that partnership track to be able to bounce ideas off of somebody like yourself would be really invaluable because, you know, sure, I, I, they, they probably know the people in their firm pretty well. And that's because they're, they're on this track, but to be, to have it from an outside source, to be able to help and counsel and guide, I got to believe that that would be valuable. 
Definitely. I mean, looking back, uh, looking back at both my career, looking back at some of the decisions people made early on, uh, when I'm working with someone in their 15 or so years of practice, sometimes we look back and, and think about where they could have tweaked, where they could have gotten guidance. Sure. Um, it's also kind of unique. The women in the industry um, may not have the support. I've had the support as they were designing their career. Mm -hmm. And it's um, valuable to be getting to getting that insight. Um, you know, I mean, also attorneys across the board, I mean, they have a lot of hours to put in. So someone coming up in the firm might not be able to get the mentorship that they need from one of the other members of the firm because they're doing their job as well as men. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so, so we're also, so an outside resource, um, firms can actually just bring us in to be on call and just to be an available resource for people to help with the mentoring, help with um, some of the education, some of the culture uh, of the firm. So it's a, it's a great idea. And I know that um, for your clients to be able to have somebody to just, again, kick around ideas with and and figure out, you know, things that might be the best next step, the best next move for their careers. I'd imagine that's that's really in, invaluable. I know, you know, for myself, I wish I would have had that kind of coaching early on in my career, but people didn't coach years ago, but today it's just so prevalent. Um, it's really, it, it's a very, very positive thing. Uh, I know, you know, you have done so much work with NABO. I wanted you to uh, tell tell the group here, tell the audience uh, about your NABO uh, presentation that you do uh, each month for the organization. Of course. Uh, so I lead a division of NABO called NABO Inspire, and it is about bringing together the business owners in our community and having them both inspire each other. And I also bring in a speaker every month that is going to help inspire and help them grow their business. Um, the underlying idea is being more profitable in your business. Uh, you know, in 2020, people were sustaining business. Um, some people were going off, were going off the charts with business, like some of these small law firms um, got really busy depending upon their practice area. Um, some of the speakers we've had in uh, helped us make great video presentations, how to make a good impression on Zoom, video conferencing, connecting with the audience. Um, there's also uh, a mindfulness. We had a mindfulness and technology coach come in last, last month. And then we also had a speaker on, on talking politics, like how to talk politics. <laughs> we all needed that one, didn't we? <laughs> that was perfect. I was like, yay. <laughs> we all needed that one. Uh, yeah, it's been fun, and you never know what's coming next. You really have have lined up a great group of speakers for that program. So from NABO and, and all the people who have benefited, thank you for your contribution to the group. It's uh, It's been terrific, and it's been a lot of fun working with you on that. So as we conclude here, can you tell the audience, uh, they go, yeah, I, I got to get some coaching. I got to get some coaching in. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, great. Uh, the Success Partner is my website. So it's just T H E Success Partner. Partner. Okay. I'm also very active on LinkedIn. I have an unusual name, so it should be no trouble finding me there. Let's let's tell the audience. It's Daya Naif, D A Y A, N A E F is the last name. So it is unusual. So it's, it's nice because people probably find you right away. There can't be too many of those in the nope, not country. Too many. <laughs> so that's terrific. It's, it's been wonderful having you here today on the Big Idea Podcast. Thank you. And uh, uh, we hope to be working with you for coming years because it's been a, a lot of fun. Thank you. Likewise, Ron. It's been great.